So uh, I have prepared um, a demo for that one, which is the uh, get, I not get items, but this one, create an item in SharePoint by HTTP request. So I'll just open that, we'll go through that, and then we'll demo that. So in here, notice that uh, I do have a, um, a URL that I'll be calling. And inside of here, this is how the body will look like. And this is actually a JSON schema of how the object that this, um, uh, let's say, endpoint is expecting. And of course, that you could change the method that you'll be using. So there's like uh, get, put, uh, patch, delete. So depending on what type of uh, action that you're going to be doing against the, uh, the uh, URL. And the next step that we'll be doing will be taking this match list will be received in the uh, request uh, body. And then we'll put it in here and insert it into SharePoint. And then we'll just do a request a response that this, uh, uh, this process have been done successfully. So as you notice in here, it's a very simple, um, uh, very simple flow. I didn't try to make it sophisticated. I didn't want to put some kind of like, you know, security, which we're gonna be talking about at the end of the session. But as you can see, this is a very straightforward, uh, and then you call that, you pass in within the body a message, and that message is going to be created inside of SharePoint, and then you will get a response that this is okay, it's uh, completed successfully. So if there's any questions at this point, please uh, pop them out while we're doing, because this is a, uh, a session that's going to be a lot of demos in this session. So if there, you have any uh, questions or uh, you're thinking about something or whatever, like scenarios, you could just pop them in and then we could take them uh, as we may have some time uh, during the, uh, the uh, webinar. So um, I'll just open Postman and this is a way that we could just consume um, the, uh, the, uh, the endpoint. And think of, it, think of this as if that you have a custom application that you have created, whether it's Angular, whether that you've created something with JavaScript, or whether you've created something with, with .NET, you'll be able to consume this endpoint and do whatever you want if you want to enter data, for example, into SharePoint, or whatever that you want to do during the process, you could do that uh, using the uh, flow. And again, I repeat that again, it's you are treating this flow as if it is an endpoint. So uh, we go back here, we need to copy um, the URL and then go in here. And we need to change the type because this is a post, as you uh, have seen here. And um, the second thing that we want to do, we want to uh, add the content type because it's actually expecting a JSON payload. So we need to make this as JSON. And this is the only thing that we need to do. Notice that if you have some authorization or you use API management to, um, uh, to actually secure this endpoint, you have to add them here, or probably you add them in the authorization. And of course, this is only for testing purposes, I mean Postman, but if you're doing a, a custom application, then you have to do it in a different way. Of course, you need to take care of the uh, passing, the header parameters, and the body. So in the body here, so what we want to do, I'll just make it row, I'll just make it as easy as possible. So uh, we have, uh, I think it's called a message. And in the message, I want to say, uh, hello, ESPC webinar. If I could spell that webinar, attendees. All right. So we're, we're all set for now. So we'll send that and we're supposed to get okay. Okay, and then if we go back again to the uh, to the messages in here, so we'll have the message inside of here. So imagine that you're doing whatever custom application that you're doing outside the bounds of SharePoint, and you want to, for example, consume that service to insert some data into SharePoint, collect some data, whatever you're trying to do. So this is a simple way that you could do that. And as you can see, it's it's very straightforward, very simple. And you could do that without writing uh, loads of, of code because you don't have to worry about um, writing the code for SharePoint because it's all handled inside of your flow. 